Hi children, let's do some word problems in subtraction. It's a very interesting exercise. Read the problem with me and we do together. Yes? What are we doing today? Word problems in subtraction. So, let's look at our first word problem. And we'll read it together. Tom has 66 balls. He gave 27 balls to Ham. How many balls are left with Tom? So Tom has 66 balls and he gives away to Ham 27. Now the question is, how many balls are left with Tom? Let's begin the Putting the numbers down as ones and tens. Number of balls Tom had? 66. So we put down 66. Yes? Number of balls he gave away to Pam. So minus 27. Minus 27. 66 minus 27 will give you the answer. How many balls left with Tom now? Let's work it out. The numbers are arranged in ones and tens order. We have six ones. Take away seven ones. Six is smaller than seven. So we borrow one from six tens. We borrow one from six tens. Minus one will be five. So we write five here. We take one ten over here, that becomes ten ones plus six ones, sixteen ones. Now from sixteen ones, we'll minus seven ones. Sixteen ones, take away seven ones. From seven, we'll count up to sixteen. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 ones take away 7 gives you 9 ones. Am I right? Good. Okay. Now, after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, that is 9 ones. So we write down 9 here. Yes, 16 ones minus 7 ones gives you 9 ones. Good. Now we go over to the tens place. 5 tens minus 2 tens. After 2, 3, 4. 5, that is 3 tens. So 5 tens minus 2 tens, we write down 3 tens. Alright? 6 to 6 minus 27 gives you the answer 39. Our question is, how many balls are left with Tom? Tom is left with 39 balls. There are 39 balls left with Tom. So you got the answer? You enjoyed doing the word problem? Good. Shall we take another word problem? Here we are. Good. Let's read the sum together. Weena bought 90 chocolates and distributed 75 to her friends. How many chocolates are left with her? That's what we have to find out. The number of chocolates Rina bought? 90. 9101. Okay? So number of chocolates Rina bought is 90. So we write down 9101 over here. Yes? Good. Then 
out of 90, she goes to distribute. She distributed 75 to her friend. So number of chocolates distributed to her friend, 75. So from 90 chocolates, take away 75. That will give you the answer. How many chocolates left with Rina now? Yes. Now we have arranged the numbers. Let's do the minusing and get the answer. 1 tenths. 9 tenths, 0 1, 7 tenths, 5 1. First you have to minus the 1's. Okay. Now in the 1's place you have 0, take away 5, which we cannot do. We take now, borrow 1 from 9. We take 1 from 9, that becomes 8. 1 10 goes to the 10's place. 1's place becomes 10 1's. 1 10 is equal to 10 1. So we write the 10 1's over there. From 10 we take away 5 1's. Okay? After 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 1's take away 5 1's gives you the answer 5. So we write 5 over here. Now we go to the tens place. In the tens place we have 8 tens minus 7 tens. 8 take away 7 gives you the answer 1. 8 minus 7 is 1. 90 minus 75 gives you 15. 1, 10, 5, 1. What is your question, children? How many chocolates are left with Rina? We say, she is left with 15 chocolates. Rina is left with 15 chocolates. That's your answer. Did you enjoy doing word problems with carryover? Good. Let's take another new sum. Let's read the word problems together. There were 77 passengers in a bus. Se 19 of them got down at a stop. The question is, how many passengers are left in the bus? There were 77 passengers in a bus. 19 of them got down at the stop. Now, the question is, how many left in the bus? Let's arrange the numbers and find. Number of passengers in the bus, 77. 7, 10, 7, 1. Number of passengers got down at a stop are 19, 1, 10, and 9, 1. Now, let's find out the number of passengers left in the bus. Let's do, arrange the numbers 1, 10, 7, 10, 7, 1, 1, 10, 9, 1. Now, let's work the 1's first. 7, 1, minus 9, 1. 7 is small number, smaller than 9, so we cannot minus, we are going into borrowing. From 7, we borrow 1, 10. 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 10 goes to the 1's place. It becomes 10 1's plus 7. That is 17 1's. So we write down there 17 1's. 17 1's minus 9 1's. After 9. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. That is 8 ones. 17 minus 9 is 8 ones. Yes? Good. So we write down below this 8. 8 ones. Now what do we do? Go to the tens place. In the tens place we have 6 minus 1. 6 take away 1 is 5. 6 take minus 1 is 5. So we write 5 tens down here. 77 take away 19 gives you the answer 
58, 510, 81. What is your question, children? How many passages are left in the bus? And what answer did we get? 58. There are 58 passengers left in the bus. So your answer is, there are 58 passengers left in the bus. Did you enjoy the word problem? Good. Shall we take another word problem? Shall we read the problem together? Look. Varun had 65 balloons with him. 39 of them flew away. He left it and it went away up. How many balloons are left with him? That's what we have to find out. Look. Let's put the numbers in the box here. Number of balloons Varun had is 65. 6, 10, 5, 1. That's the number of balloons Varun had. The number that flew away, 39 minus 39, 3, 10, 9, 1. So we have arranged the numbers now. Let's work out the sum. We have in the ones place 5, 10, take away 9, 10. 5 tenths is smaller than 9. Therefore, we are going into borrowing from the tenths place. 6 ten, we borrow 1 ten. So, 6 take away 1 is 5. So, we write 5 up here and 1 ten goes to the ones place becomes 10 ones plus 5 ones, 15 ones. From 15 ones, we are going to minus 9 ones. 15 ones minus 9 ones. After 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That makes 6 ones. 15 ones take away. 9 ones gives you the answer. 6 ones. So we write down in the ones place. Good. Let's go to the tens place. Five tens minus three tens. Yes. After three, four, five. That is two. Two tens. So we write down two tens here. Sixty-five take away thirty-nine gives you the answer. Twenty-six. What is your question, children? How many balloons are left with him? Answer is 26. 26 balloons are left with him. Good. Did you enjoy the word problem? Let's look at another problem. Let's read the problem together. A fruit seller bought a basket of 45 apples. Out of which eight were rotten. Your question is to find out how many apples were good. You are supposed to find out how many apples were good. Number of apples the fruit seller bought. 45 apples. Number of apples rotten in the basket. One bad in the basket. Minus 8. 45 minus 8. We'll give you the answer. How many apples were good? Now, we have arranged 4 tens, 5 ones, 0 tens, 8 ones. Now, let's do the work. 5 ones take away 8 ones, which we cannot. 5 is smaller than 8. Let's go into borrowing. From four tens, we borrow one ten and we get balance of three tens here. Four tens, take away one ten. You get three tens left. And that one ten goes into the ones place. That becomes ten ones plus five ones, fifteen ones. We have 15 ones here and we are going to minus 8 ones from there. We are going to count up to 8, 15. Okay. After
Chapter 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that is 7, 1, 15, 1, minus 8, 1, gives you the answer 7, 1. Now we go to the tenth place, 3 tenths minus 0 tenths gives you the answer 3 tenths. 3 minus 0 is 3 itself. So you get an answer of 37. 45 minus 8 gives you 37. Which is your, What's your question now? How many apples were good? 37 apples were good. That's your answer. That is 310, 7, 1.